Asteroids. These small celestial bodies, remnants from the early days of our solar system, drift through the vastness of space. They come in various shapes and sizes, from tiny pebbles to massive rocks. Asteroids have left their mark on Earth's history. The infamous Chicxulub impact, caused by a massive asteroid striking the Yucatan Peninsula around 66 million years ago, led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. Hollywood has capitalized on our fascination with asteroids. Films like Armageddon and Deep Impact depict heroic efforts to prevent catastrophic collisions. In 2013, a small meteorite entered Earth's atmosphere above Chelyabinsk in Russia. The resulting explosion shattered windows, injured hundreds, and served as a wake-up call. It reminded us that even seemingly insignificant space rocks can pack a punch. But asteroids aren't just harbingers of doom, they hold promise. High-tech industry products like computers or smartphones are built with various precious materials like silver, platinum or gold. Mining them is an environmentally destructive process. It destroys the ecosystem, affects local societies and creates toxic waste. Ironically, these materials are used in green technologies like solar panels, windmills and hydrogen production. So, the greener we want to be, the more toxic mining we need. But, how about the vision to move the mining outside the Earth? Metals like platinum or gold are very heavy. That's why when the celestial body is large enough, like Earth, they are pulled inside due to the gravitational forces. Asteroids are much smaller. Thus, it doesn't happen. As an example, we can look at asteroid 2011 UV-158, which passed in proximity to Earth and was estimated to contain more platinum than was ever extracted on our planet. However, getting to asteroids was just too expensive. But that's changing. A seat on a SpaceX rocket is three times cheaper than it is on a space shuttle. We also learned how to transport material back to Earth. Sample return missions send spacecraft to asteroids, collect samples and bring them back to Earth. Imagine this, tiny bits of rock and dust, no bigger than your fingernail, travelling millions of miles to reach us. The Japanese Hayabusa missions made history, bringing back the first samples from asteroid Itokawa, over 1,500 tiny grains. Hayabusa 2 followed, returning with even more, about 5 grams of material from asteroid Ryugu. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission topped that, collecting over 60 grams from asteroid Bennu, the largest sample return yet. These precious samples are like time capsules, revealing the secrets of our solar system's origins and potential resources. Next up, NASA's Psyche mission aims to explore the unique metallic asteroid 16 Psyche. However, all these missions have no direct relation to asteroid mining. They are the first step leading to asteroid mining. Now that we have asteroid samples, the possibilities for asteroid mining are within our reach. In the lab, scientists use advanced techniques like FTIR. FTIR analyzes how materials absorb infrared light at different wavelengths, identifying and quantifying valuable minerals and compounds. This helps pinpoint essential resources, like metals and water, within the asteroid samples. However, the focus of current studies is purely scientific, Detailed compositional information guides the development of extraction technologies and assesses the economic viability of mining specific asteroids. With these insights, future mining missions can target the most resource-rich asteroids, unlocking the potential of space resources. Most asteroids orbit in the belt between Mars and Jupiter, but some occasionally pass close to Earth. Technically, asteroids are relatively easy targets. Despite their distance, the energy required to land on them is much less than that needed to land on Mars or the Moon, due to their significantly lower gravity. 
However, this low gravity also presents challenges for collecting samples and still demands substantial investment in new technologies. According to scientists like Andreas Hein, asteroid mining can be much more sustainable than mining on Earth. Hein estimates that bringing one kilo of platinum back to Earth from an asteroid would produce 150 kilos of CO2. In contrast, extracting the same amount of platinum on Earth generates 40,000 kilos of CO2. The problem is that if the market suddenly becomes flooded with a large amount of platinum, its price will automatically drop. This means that with such a large investment, investors would see their profit margins shrink, potentially making the venture unprofitable. However, as sustainability becomes more important than pure economic cost, this situation might change. As a society, we're now much closer, both in mindset and technological capability, to asteroid mining compared to where we stood a decade ago. Who would have predicted five years ago that by 2024, AI would become an integral part of our daily lives? Perhaps asteroid mining is the next natural step in our journey of exploration.